In this lesson, we'll show how to create mass motion geometry in AutoCAD and export it to the workbench. I've already created in mass motion or in AutoCAD uh, a couple of floor surfaces, make using rectangles and turning them into regions, and done the same to make a couple of pieces of portal geometry. The next thing is to make the vertical circulation elements, which will be either stairs or escalators. Uh, and I'll show two ways of doing that. One sort of creates the geometry completely within AutoCAD, and the other shows how uh, you can finish geometry uh, that's been started in AutoCAD in Soft Image. So we will go and create a 3D polyline. And we'll create another 3D polyline over here. Now, we're then going to extrude these objects. And we'll just sort of eyeball a stair there. And we'll do the same here. Now, you'll note the differences between the two. This one has a sort of top landing and bottom landing. Uh, mass motion requires there to be landings or, or overlaps between pieces of link geometry, such as stairs or escalators, or even uh, level links between floors that might represent doors, for instance, to uh, be able to make associations between the floors and the link objects. Now, this piece doesn't have them, and what we'll, I'll show is how to um, how to create those overlaps with this piece of geometry once it comes into the mass motion workbench. So to get it into the mass motion workbench we go to the export and export an FBX and I'm just going to overwrite this one which was made before and that's fine we'll just uh, we'll take all the all the objects in the scene and then we will switch to the soft image workbench create a new scene and we will import geometry from a file. And we're going to want the FBX file filter. And I have this on my F drive. And there it is. So we import that. And here we see our geometry has come in. And it's also all the objects that were in the scene have been added to uh, the list of objects here. Now if we just select these we'll be able to see which ones are the, uh, the sort of good bits of actual geometry and the ones which are sort of unnecessary AutoCAD objects. And I'm just going to delete those out of my scene. Alright, so let's very quickly just go ahead and rename this so that we'll uh, be able to track them more easily. And when you rename geometry, if you, uh, if you have a bunch of them selected, it will automatically increment the numbering of the objects. So that turns from floor 1 to floor 2. And we have our two portal pieces of geometry. And again with the auto rename. And we have our two stair objects. So I will rename those. Okay, and let's just go ahead and start assigning the types, remembering to do the floor types first. And now we can do our two s portals. And that's working fine. And now we'll try and assign our two stairs. One of these will work and one of them will not. So, it's telling us that we have the wrong a number of vertices. The geometry should have, escalator or stair geometry should have eight. So, that's fine. This one's been created properly because it already has the overlaps. This one hasn't, so we're going to have to do some modifications to it. The quickest way to do this is to select the object, and then either by pointing here at the edge select mode or by pressing the E key, you will go into the edge select mode. And what we're going to do here is just duplicate this edge, and that's most easily done by pressing Control D. It doesn't look like much has happened, but if we move that object, we can see that another piece of geometry has been created there. And we're going to press the E key again to get to edge select mode and go over to this far side. And we will duplicate that. And there's our overlap in that axis as well. And now, 
we go back to the object mode, we should be able to go over here and assign that as a stair. So that's two ways of creating uh, stair geometry. One is to do the complete definition with uh, the, the landing overlaps in AutoCAD, and the other is to just bring in a simple ramp object and do the um, uh, make those overlaps in the soft homage workbench. So just very quickly, we'll create a new rule, and we will edit our portals. So we'll make one of them the entrance, one of them the exit. And we will go to simulation, and we'll browse for the path where we want this to go. And that will be in our my F drive, M test cases, AutoCAD, select, and we'll validate and export all. And now we will open that project. And there we have our agents running back and forth. And that's it for this lesson. Thank you.